Hi guys, my name is Evie and today I want to talk a bit about some of my favourite Scottish slang words that I hear around the city that I live in, in Dundee in Scotland. Now, slang is one of my favourite things to talk about linguistically because I think it's a lot of fun and it's also very useful, especially if you come somewhere like the UK and accents and dialects change really quickly, like all the time, geographically, I mean. Like, uh, you can go 20 minutes down the road and people will just sound completely different. Even people from different parts of Scotland don't understand each other sometimes. It's crazy. A small note, I'm going to make a lot of my content geared towards people who are learning English, but if you're from another English-speaking country already and you just want to learn a little bit more about Scotland, that's fantastic! Welcome! Also, I am half Irish, so you might not get the full flavour of these Scottish words in the most kind of traditional Scottish accent, uh, unfortunately. I have quite a neutral accent, but it makes it easier for people to understand. So please don't complain that I'm not actually Scottish. I am. I promise. I've lived here all my life. Right, let's go. Now, I've written these down for everybody, and for myself, obviously, because my memory's terrible, in uh, my nice Sharpie pens. I'm sure I talked a little bit about my multicolored pens in my uh, How I'm Teaching Myself Italian video. Number one is gaff. Yeah. Gaff is used a lot in Dundee, but possibly even more in Glasgow, the capital city of Scotland, and gaff simply means a flat or an apartment. It can also mean a house, just in general, just somewhere where you live, but usually it's a flat. Gaff can also mean a party that you have in your flat, like a, oh, I'm having a gaff tonight. Or you can say, I'm having a gaff party tonight. Or you can say, I'm having a party at my gaff tonight. Are you coming to the gaff? Stephen's got a new gaff. I like that word a lot. Another uh, noun here I've got is a uh, scran. This is a uh, this is one of my favorite Scottish words ever. I don't know why. It's just fun to say and you can like roll your R like scran. 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 I say it more like scran, but I wish I said it like scran. It's more fun, isn't it? But scran essentially means food. Do you want to get some scran tomorrow? Yeah. And maybe if you're really excited about the scran, you'll say, I'm buzzing. Which just means you're really looking forward to something. I'm buzzing. I am buzzing for this gaff party tonight. I hope there's some free scran. I'm excited for this flat party tonight. I hope that there is some free food. And I hope that that mentor isn't there. Mentor, maybe not the nicest word in the world, but a fun one. Uh, mentor is essentially an ugly woman. <laughs> but, I mean, we're talking about ugly in both senses here. I wouldn't really call somebody a minter unless like I genuinely disliked them, do you know what I mean? A general term for a woman would be a bird. Bird can also be used uh, like girlfriend. Oh, he's got a new bird! I hear she's a minter! No. <laughs> bird just means women, specifically somebody over, over teenagers, I would say. It's like bird the thing that flies and I think that's why people I think that's why some people don't like being called a bird like I generally think it's quite a fun word and there you go now if you're disagreeing with somebody in Scotland you might hear a few of these so I've got I right and this is this is probably one that you've heard before, but I thought I would go over it. It's kind of... Essentially, it means like, oh yeah, like in agreement, but when you say it like, I right, it's usually sarcastic. So, somebody tells you that they won 200 quid. Quid! There's another one. A quid is a pound. 
if somebody tells you um, that they won 200 quid in the lottery and you don't believe them, you go, I right. <laughs> if you're the person who's told your pal that you won 200 quid in the lottery and they go, I right, I don't believe you, you might be a bit miffed. Can you see that? A bit miffed. M-I-F-F-E-D. And miffed essentially just means irritated. I'm a bit miffed after that conversation we had earlier. Not angry, it's like just below angry. Then once you get to the angry stage, if you're really feeling it, you might say that you're raging. Raging. R-A-G-I-N. You can write this with a G on the end as well, raging, because that's essentially what it means. You're in a rage, you're really angry. But uh, generally, people will just say it like raging. I'm absolutely raging. You ignored my calls all night. I am raging. Another, ooh, I'm sorry about the light. I need to get like a proper, I need to get a lamp for in here or something. But <laughs> I'm poor. Or as we say here, I'm skint. I'm skint. S-K-I-N-T. I've got no money. I'm skint. I'm too skint to go out this weekend. I'm too skint to go to the pub. It's funny because it's true. What were we on? Words for angry. Oh yeah, this is another one. Pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. You can also say uh, pissed in Scotland can also mean that you're very drunk. Um, so you can be pissed, you can be angry pissed, or you can be like, I'm pissed, well, you know. <laughs> and maybe uh, sometimes when you're pissed, when you're drunk, you might get the book. Book is spelt B O W K. And uh, it just means that you feel sick. So like, I've got the bulk. Or uh, if something is disgusting, it's bulking. <laughs> right guys, uh, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to make a really kind of quick, fun one. I have a feeling it's become a little bit long though. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna skedaddle. Skedaddle, meaning I'm going to go. I'm going to head off. I'd really like to make more videos on this subject, so please let me know if you found it helpful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>